Hi and good evening everybody! Welcome back to another episode and to our beer! Today we have the pleasure to tour this beautiful brand new villa set on a plot of 3000 square meters with an internal build of 500 and 44 square meters. We are just one kilometer away from the seafront and we are going to be the first people to be touring this house. So I can't wait and let's get started from the exterior of the house. So here we find ourselves in the upper floor of the house and from here you can see the beautiful exterior. This house is brand new and it has just been finished. As you can see from the exterior it looks like a typical Spanish one-story house which is not actually the case which you're going to see in a second when we go down. Also you have the very typical Spanish roof which you'll be able to see from the drone shots which we will hopefully include in the b-roll shots because there's a lot of seagulls flying here and they've actually been trying to capture my drone so i hope uh, that won't happen here as you can see we have the beautiful large entrance leading us inside of the house i mean this cannot go unnoticed the first thing we see is the amazing views right in front of the entrance. We've got the typical Spanish little buildings here on the first line. On the second line, we've got the beautiful town of Altea with the mountain right in front, the sea on the left side and the Benidorm far away on the right. Right, also in this house, we have a full alarm system, an intercom, which is over here. Here we can open the garage door and the front door. So far nobody's coming. And right, let's carry on forward. Whilst we're walking, let's just notice all the windows we've got on my left side. Please try and show that. It's really peaceful here. And now let's notice this amazing large white sofa. I love the color palette that's going on here is very soft and gentle and really nicely balances with the feel of this house. All the furniture as you can see is designer, it's been custom made especially for this house. Even the carpet, I mean just makes you want to walk on it barefoot. We're not going to do that for now. For now we're going to check out this special space. A space where you can sit down, read a book and enjoy a nice cup of tea or a glass of wine and just look at the views in front. After that, you can go through and enjoy a proper meal at this beautiful dining table we've got here with six chairs all around, proper wood. I don't know about you, but I could definitely imagine myself having a nice breakfast here. Right, let's step further into this dining area and just notice this beautiful decor we've got here. I love this yellow touch and the books, all these contemporary features that are kind of blending in with the rest of the furniture. As you can see, this chain, for example, is the same style like the chandelier. And here on the other side, we've got even more beautiful features. Let's just take a notice at this amazing stylish woman over here and of course this mirror I really like this kind of a strange weird design mirrors right enough about mirrors let's move on into the middle part of this dining area here let's notice that at the top of the ceiling we have air condition going out going on throughout the whole of this ceiling as well as the alarm system and the security which you can notice right on both sides of this room. As you probably noticed, we've already stepped into my favorite part of this house, no doubt, 
and this beautiful kitchen from Creativa. I mean, let's just notice this extraordinary island right in the middle. So we've got four chairs facing the marble front of the kitchen. Here we have the one bowl sink. And the water is not even connected yet. This is brand new. This house has just been put on the market, as I told you in the beginning. Right, let's go in depth about this kitchen because definitely deserves to be spoken about. Firstly, we've got the electric hob from Bora with the extractor right in the middle. I really love that kind of style where you've got nothing hanging right above you. And Dima, please come over here so we can show all the soft clothes shelving. You see, I really like the soft clothes. Here we've got the meal dishwasher as well, brand new. This is the oven. And here, is this the oven? I think this is a grill and this is the oven. So a grill and an oven. Again, more storage over here. And the LED light strip throughout the hall of this wall over here, as well as in the cabinetries over there. Right, carrying on through the kitchen. Of course, the wine cooler. Why not? Very important. More storage. And here we have a brand new meal fridge as well. Now, next to the kitchen, right over here. Let's step here. We have an empty room, which I'm assuming here you could store dry goods or anything you bring from the kitchen. Okay. Opposite, we have the toilet. Nothing too impressive. And from here, we could access the front garden, the top part of the house. And here we are in the first out of two terraces we've got on this floor. Don't mind the little mess. We've really had some hurricane-y, rainy, stormy days in the last two weeks. But let's just look at the size and the potential of this terrace, which is interconnecting us here to the second part. And this is the most panoramic part of the house. As you can see at the moment, there is no furniture in here but it has a lot of potential. Once you put your own furniture, the outdoor furniture, it will give this place even more warmth and style. Let's go and check out the bedrooms, guys. Whilst we're walking to the bedroom, here we have this beautiful painting, which I would like to show you guys. I think these kind of paintings in this house, because this is the second one, one uh, another one we've got over the sofa, I think they give this house this kind of a modern, a little African style. The first room over here, as you can see at the moment, there is no furniture. We've only got one room furnished in this house at the moment. But of course, for the potential buyer, this house can be finished exactly in the same style as you can see on this video. We are now in the main master bedroom of the house. Before we get deeper inside, firstly, let's just take a notice to this another weirdly shaped mirror, which is facing this space, which I'm assuming would be your walk-in wardrobe. And for that reason, you have this mirror right in front. Right, stepping inside the main space. Here is a lot to talk about. Let's start from the main bed. Facing, of course, the beautiful views. And not only that, we have this large window which open up, which opens up, excuse me, to this nice and cute balcony. Again, you can hear how peaceful it is. From here, we see the full length of the swimming pool, downstairs and the hall of outdoor area. We're going to go there in a minute, but before that, let's just look at this beautiful bedroom. Bed frame, really nice and soft. I like this kind of a touch. Can't hurt yourself no matter what you do. And next to the bed here, we have this nice chilling reading area. I'm not sure what this could be used for. What do you think, guys? And here, again, actually my second favorite part of the house after the kitchen, as you know, is a bath. Is a bath, especially one like that. And after the bath, 
you can make your way into the shower and you can even use this schlang. No, I think this is uh, I think this is in Polish. I'm not quite sure what it's called in English, but you can use it for washing other parts of your body. Right, and here, separated by a wall, we have the second part of this beautiful and suite. We have two sinks and two mirrors for him and for her. And right opposite, we have an amazing makeup area. I really like this part. In fact, this is where I was doing my makeup today. So I can confirm that this works really well and the lighting is perfect. And of course, behind the wall separated here, we have a toilet, which we're not going to see because this is just a simple toilet. Right, guys, and that brought us to the last furnished one, well, to the first and only furnished room in this house, in fact. Let's just quickly have a look at the other rooms just to give you an idea of the potential of the house this room is empty but it has a nice l-shaped corner over here with the views let's not show this part because here is where we've got our things so there's just an end suite bathroom over there right let's head down into the swimming pool and the downstairs area let's go here on this floor we have additional two bedrooms making it five bedrooms in this house in total. Here we also have a separated kitchen, making it the second kitchen of the house. And stepping outside into the front of the property, firstly, we have the nice stone natural wall on my right, and that connecting us with this bar over here. So as you can see here, we have the stone wall with the shelving and the nice LED light already prepared to be served as a bar. So all this covered space is basically an entertainment area to put your barbecue and all the additional features you want. And here, as you can see, the main part of the outdoor area, the swimming pool is super large. Here you have four steps leading us down into the deeper part of the pool. In front of the swimming pool, we have this nicely manicured garden with all these different trees. My favorite tree is the violet one, right at the end over there. We have plants, cactuses, and all sorts of different ones over here. Of course, the full garden and all the house, all around the house, we have the automatic irrigation system, making all the plants alive throughout the whole year, even in the hottest days of the summer. Right, and from here, for one last time, let's take a look at the exterior of the house. You can see that the first floor is completely covered with the natural stone and then transitioning into the white stone on the top. And walking through the right side of the house, we'll find ourselves in a large garage. Here you could put one and a half cars, I would say, well, depending on how large your car is. But this is an automatic door, opens with a remote control and gives you direct access to the secure garage. You could also park your cars right in front, just like I did. Definitely not a great place to be walking with your heels. But oh well, we don't really have a choice. Before we reach the upper part, I would like to just mention this beautiful driver leading us into the inside of the house. Of course, from here we can see the beautiful moon and the mountains with the sunset, which is happening as we speak. Let's go and check it out to the upper floor of the house. And so we reached again the upper part of the house where we started the tour. Uh, I'm not sure I mentioned before, here on my left we have these baby palm trees. I think they're super cute, showing that this property is fresh and brand new. Right guys, let's go for the last time inside the house. So here we come to the end of the tour for today. Thank you for being with me until the end, guys. Just to sum everything up, this house is priced at 2,250,000 euros and it's just been brought to the market. We are located between Altea and Albir. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this house and I'll be seeing you in the next upcoming videos. Take care, guys.